Welcome to the new age. This your guy Dayton. This is LJZ, like father, like <laughs> son. And let's get straight into it. Today we got some interesting, what would you say, insight news to give to you all. Jerome Powell spoke to America today and America reacted. The stock market went down. Crypto has been going up because of inflation concerns. And now this is when things get interesting. We talked previously about the variant uh, earlier last week. In September, we talked about the debt ceiling and Jerome Powell, uh, uh, buying back bonds and, and tapering quickly so now it's almost december and it's about that time to talk about this again play the clip going into this episode would have been many years since we had inflation at two percent um so i think the word transitory has different meanings to different people to, to many it carries a time a sense of uh of short lived we we tend to to to, to use it to mean that it, that it won't leave a permanent mark uh, in, the, in the form of higher inflation. I think it's it's probably a good time to retire that that uh, word and try to explain more clearly what we mean. So as you see, Jerome Powell spoke and he had some interesting things to say. It's funny. He said that it's time for us to further explain what we mean. I think Jerome, we, we've been hearing you all year. You've been saying transitory all year. We, we got what you were saying. It's just now you're switching your position. So I think, in other words, what Jerome is telling us today right. is it's every man for himself. <laughs> the American economy has put our trust in the Fed chair, Jerome Powell, throughout this entire pandemic, you know, to get us from this seashore, you know, to the destination of safety over here. Mm -hmm. And like you said, according to this clip, it, it appears that he's given us an uh, impression that the ship is now sinking right. and that we may not make it to the seashore safely. Right. If you look at the definition <laughs> of transitory it means not permanent so he kept saying inflation is not permanent inflation is not permanent jerome powell it, you you're talking about definitions we got clearly what you were saying all year right now you're just stabbing the market in the back and you're switching your position that's why you don't want to use the word transitory anymore <laughs> he told us we might as well throw it out <laughs> So uh, my thoughts on this is um, it's wise for us to begin to prepare for a rocky and volatile road ahead, not just in the stock market, but in the entire economy. Right. It, it says Powell says Fed will discuss speeding up bond buying taper at December meeting. You know, what's funny about this is he talked in earlier this month, right? Mm -hmm. Earlier this month, he talked, I, I believe, also in October. October. Mm -hmm. He comes on. He comes every like every weeks. month. Yeah, yeah every <laughs> month he talks, and you know, all of a sudden, within a week's time, couple weeks time frame, you're, you're switching the narrative. You, mm -hmm. We we didn't hear anything about speeding up tapering as far as in December. Right. We never heard that as far as buying back bonds in December, and now you're you're quickly trying to taper even faster. It's unraveling, folks. Mm -hmm. It's unraveling. Another thing that he said is Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell says to expect for a digital current, I mean digital central bank currency report in the coming weeks. So you can see they're moving quickly and, and speeding up talks about digital currency and cryptocurrency. And this is the the biggest thing to me that's been overlooked that everyone's talking about they're moving fast on crypto crypto is about to be a, a huge wave that big institutions is moving towards that's right kevin o'leary came out on last week and he talked about um his last two videos with cnbc news was centered around crypto he talked a lot about in his first video about inflation and the dangers of it and how institutional investors are being pressured to move their capital into digital assets the second video he came out with again on cnbc he talked about pay him in crypto he only wants to be paid in crypto so as dayton you just mentioned um they're ushering in this wave this tidal wave quickly so you know i've already heavily invested in the crypto right, right. um i've done a, a ton of research you know um this is not financial advice but you would do yourself a huge um justice by looking into some of the assets or cryptocurrency space so so we got a new variant scare and we got inflation concerns but let's just say what if another ver the new variant caused you know more lockdowns 
down caused more of a scare than it is right now. Imag just imagine a world where we have to lock down again. Remember the last lockdowns, we had to print money, which rose inflation even higher. So now all of a sudden, now that inflation is running rampant, another variant could be running rampant. What do you think that does? More inflation rises. It breaks the dollar and it may break the economy. On that note, we're in, we're out, we're out, we're in. Welcome to the new age. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.